Hi, my name is Kim Prout, and this is my Europa. This Europa is one of the very first that came to America. Uh, I purchased it actually out of England in 1994 and completed it in summer of 1996. And its first flight was July 4th, 1996. It was actually first flown by Ivan Shaw of Europa who developed the airframe and uh, the whole system. Interestingly, he just loved it. We flew off a whole bunch of hours real fast and got it to Oshkosh. And it was just an incredible trip. On that trip, we learned about the basic capabilities, the cross-country capabilities of this airplane. And it was everything that had been touted. Some of the ways this airplane is unique among kit-built aircraft is sort of the hallmark or the signature monowheel. And that was developed, again, to be able to get in and out of short fields and soft plowed fields with the minimum amount of drag. The other thing is this airplane is trailerable. The wings unpin and the tailplane unpins. And it all goes on a trailer system that's 6 feet 8 inches wide and about 20 feet long from spinner to trailer coupler. And weighing in at about 800 pounds makes it easy to take it in and out of a short field or to an airstrip with a small car. The airframe was designed around using the Rotax 912 UL 80 horsepower engine. The advantage to it is that it uses automobile fuel and it's a very efficient engine. So that relates to a very good fuel economy which is important in reducing costs. However, it's not much good if you have to just fly slow. So the idea was to have an airframe, of course, it's very, very efficient. So in the design, it related to 140 mile an hour cruise at essentially four gallons an hour. I did some cleanup mods in the construction process that became evident as my father and I were actually building this. And so those aerodynamic cleanups resulted in 135 knot cruise speed at 4.5 gallons per hour. So this particular Europa exceeds the book values, as well as the current ones do also, because they've applied some of those cleanup mods as well. One of the hallmarks of the Europa is the control harmony. The first time you get in this airplane and fly it, it just feels natural. And that's based on some real aerodynamic research and development. That wasn't just by accident. One of the factors that had to be designed into the aircraft was a very positive stick force for pitch. So coupled with this stick force is a neutral roll stability. So when you bring the stick over and you can just let go of it, it stays in a nice bank. Interestingly, the airplane stays ball centered. That's another nice feature because of the aileron design. The ailerons are a freeze type aileron which means that the counterbalances swing out on the bottom of the wing. So as you apply roll, there is a counteraction to the adverse yaw. And that means the ball stays nicely centered. I've been flying this airplane for 14 years now, and every time I get in it and fly, I just love it. It just feels right.